Good morning tank chums, well here we are in the T1 Heavy and we're playing Swamp. Well, let's try and avoid the boggy ground in the middle because T1 Heavy is slow as it is. It doesn't need any help from you Swamp. Let's just go south into the town and try and shoot at people who are daring to cross over the town. That didn't really make sense. Well there you go, it's early in the morning for me so that's why. And my warm up game with the Japanese Type 95 Heavy was terrible, absolutely terrible. But we've got a pair of derps on our team, I've got a KD2 and an OI. So we're, we're good on the high explosive front. They don't. Ooh, actually, I fancy our chances here. Our tier 6 tanks are pretty boomy. Whereas. There's, I mean, FV 304 is obviously crazy, crazy good. The rate of fire on that thing just upsets me deeply. But I like. Come on, tank. You can do it, lad. Let's go. I like the camouflage in that. It's very, it's, it's quite plain and understated. Hmm. That was one of those. I quite like fighting around this castle, actually. Uh, castle, chateau, I don't know what the correct term is for it. It's castle overlooking a swamp. And I was busy paying attention to the castle, rather than the actual fight, which isn't. So it's not just going to shoot at him. I can't be the only person interested in killing him. Right, shots at the Panzer Souffle. Oh, oh Christ. Whoever it is, it could see me. Ow! What was that? Very scared, actually. To be honest, 24 hit points is not the situation that I like to be in. Where the hell are those shots coming from? Is that SPGs? I don't know. Oh, that was lucky. Starts here. Oh, it was the Hellcat. Target acquired. Where'd they go? Probably that bloody Hellcat. 24 hit points, that's all I need. 24. I, I would like some more, to be honest. I mean, the armor on the two on heavy is alright, it's just. Feels like its strength really lies in reasonable armor and a few hit points. It's not a tog, but yeah. Just pay attention to my mini map. A moment too late. So what did I learn? Um. Oh yeah, the sides of the T1 Heavy are not where you want to get shot. And you should pay attention to the minimap and make sure that you're not getting shot in the sides. Also, what is this OI doing? Defend the base. Well, no, that is fair. We do need to defend the base a little. But the KV2 is not going to get there in time. Well, no, the KV2 is dead, the OI is probably not going to get there in time. But KV2 got three kills, so I can't can't complain about the KV2 at all. He did his job, which is to say he got some kills. That's a really good spot for the T67 as well, I like that. Just quite good fields of view, but difficult to shoot. That's my tank, don't want to look at that. Oh, I. Here we are. 
We've got an FE3 with two SPGs and an OI. Well, I've got a cup of coffee. Ooh, still a bit hot. And let's see what this happens. What this happens, what happens next? FE304. The most elusive and secretive thing. <laughs> the fireball. I don't want size. And the Kind of flag on the other. And my knowledge of flags is pretty. Well, whatever it is, it's a shame that you can't see the camouflage and, and the emblems on it because I really want a screenshot of the flaming F3304 labelled fireball. That would be beautiful. And the OI is surrounded on all sides. Well, I mean, that's basically what surrounded means, Mark. What's he gonna do? He's behind you! Oh no, he isn't. Oh yes he is. Oh no, no he is no he is actually behind. Yeah, he's He's behind you. 